Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for uh, sulfur trioxide, SO3. So uh, here we go. Uh, SO3, which is the chemical formula for uh, sulfur trioxide, alright? And it's going to give us uh, six valence from the sulfur plus three oxygens, each giving us six valence from them. And it's going to give us a total of 24 valence electrons. Alright, so we can go ahead and use my little trick, subtract the largest multiple of 8, which is going to be 24 in this case, gives us 0, and 24 is 8 times 3, and this divided by 2 is also 0, so this is going to be an AX3, because of this 3, AX3, E0, because of this 0, or just AX3 shape. Alright, so we'll come back to that in a second. We'll for right now, let's go ahead and uh, start to draw this uh, this structure. All right, so you have SO3. S will be in the middle then, and then there's going to be three oxygens surrounding it. O, O, O. Okay, and uh, so we can go ahead and and connect them with uh, single bonds, and then let's just go ahead and fill out the oxygens. And each of these lines represents two electrons. And now all the oxygens have the their full octet, but the sulfur does not. But for right now, let's go ahead and check the formal charges, and you're going to see why this is not going to be the correct structure in just a second. All right. So, with the uh, formal charges, we can, we can go ahead and start with the uh, sulfur, and that's going to be formal charge is uh, valence brought in, so six minus uh, number of bonds three minus number of non-bonding electrons zero, and it's going to give us a plus three. So that's pretty high. We don't really want that, but we'll see why this doesn't work in just a second. Now we can check the formal charges on each of the oxygens. So formal charge on the oxygen, um, it's going to be six valence brought in for each one, minus one bond for each one, minus one, two, three, four, five, six valence, or, or six non-bonding electrons for each, for each one, which will give us a negative one formal charge for each oxygen. So if you sum, if sum those up, it's going, to, it's going to give you zero, but you don't want this plus three. You always want to have as close to zero as possible. And also, if you notice, the sulfur does not have a full octet. It only has six, six electrons. And since sulfur is in the third period of the uh, periodic table, it has access to the d orbitals, so it could actually hold six bonds, or 12 electrons worth of, of electrons. So what we're going to end up doing, move these two electrons, make this a double bond, move these two electrons, make this a double bond, and move these two electrons, and make this a double bond. So now, let's go ahead and check the formal charges to see if how, how this structure looks it works out okay so formal charge of the, the new sulfur is going to have six valence brought in minus uh, six bonds one two three four five six remember double bonds count as two bonds not just one and then minus zero non-bonding electrons gives us a zero formal charge so that looks better all right and now we can check uh, the formal charge on each oxygen and that is six valence brought in minus um, minus two bonds for each oxygen. There's one, two there, one, two there, one, two there, and then minus four non-bonding electrons for each oxygen, and that gives us a formal charge of zero. So notice how these added up to zero, but these are zero. So this is actually going to be the better the better option. This is what we want. So this structure is now correct with the double bonds going to each oxygen. Okay. So now that it's a AX3 shape, we know that, that, that this means that this is going to be a, a trigonal planar shape, all right? And the, uh, the sulfur is going to be, since it has one, two, three bonding sites, it's going to make this an SP2 uh, hybrid, okay? SP2 hybrid orbitals. All right, and due to the fact that it's a, a trigonal planar, the uh, bond angle should be equal to 120 degrees. And because each of the three adjo um, adjacent or uh, peripheral atoms are the same, they're all oxygen, this is going to be a non-polar uh, molecule because all of these oxygens, their dipole moments will then cancel each other out giving them a net dipole moment of zero, which then results in a non-polar molecule. Um, I think that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. Any special requests for a molecule, let me know. I'll try to put it in a video for you. And uh, thanks for watching.